you're an artist, it's because you are bringing to materials a voice that you feel has something to say. And you have to be willing to allow the world to vote. I was born and raised in Miami Beach. My mother was a Jungian and very aware of what she called the persona. She was a monumental and positive influence. She loved beautiful fabrics and traveled quite a bit to Syria, Egypt, India, in days when people didn't go. We would go to France and we sailed as soon as school was out. She would take us to look at the statues and we'd look, we'd stare, and then we went over to statues that were draped. She explained that there was no mystery with the naked. You saw it all, but with the draped, you brought your imagination to it. My mother went to Havana and they had linen dresses made and beading done and the people had the clothes made and everyone had a sewing machine. It has resonance, it's purposeful. Clothes are no longer purposeful. She also taught us we couldn't have a full closet. I still don't have a full closet. She said every French secretary has one good suit and then they accessorize. Well, what's so interesting about this dress is the man who I ultimately met, I only knew him through the phone. He told me a story that he studied couture in Paris and then the 60s happened. So he said he dropped out and went down to Tunisia. And they told him that the simpler the clothes, the healthier it was for the body. And he came back up through Italy, and he ended up on a Sunday morning in front of the Uffizi, barefoot, and they let him in. And he stood in front of the portrait of Cosimo de' Medici, and he had this on. I thought, what a great story. And I remember the world before brands. Membership is really what it is. Some people have 3,000 bottles of champagne and others can't find fresh drinking water. We've become obese spiritually as well as physically. Rome didn't go down because of the Visigoths and the Huns. It went down because it was rotten inside. My grandfather, his father, grew up in the woods of Russia and could make all of the bird sounds. They presented nature as part of my diet growing up. It was something to observe and stop and celebrate. But I embrace aging. I feel very comfortable with my age. To watch the world changing in so many ways, to see opening up sexuality and as we understand it today as a spectrum instead of a black and white situation. Every day is just another day and I'm older and there were people who did it before me, so I kept my eye on them so I could go forward, and I have younger women who will watch me. It's part of the big river I'm flowing in.